Hey crafty people, it's Tasha here with another video for Pear Blossom Press. Today I'm sharing a springboard Santa who's definitely in the spotlight. So let's start by getting our halo light ready. This is actually a combo pack of halo and one lights. And I'm taking off these extra bits. They're really easy to remove, just bend and they snap right off. And you can just dispose of them but obviously don't bin the one lights. <laughs> I aren't using those today, so after I've got my battery, I can just pack those extras away for another crafty session. Slot your battery in, and as easy as that, there, we have light. I wanna cut an opening, so I'm testing my circle dies to decide which one's gonna work best, and then I'll cut that into an A2 panel of Nina 80 pound. I'm making sure that it's the right fit, then I can set that halo aside whilst I work on the background. I've got a heavy doodle stencil and I'm inking it with Concord and Ninth's Parsley ink. I'm just using a small blending brush. These are simple little images, but I want to get in the little details. So I'm blending in clockwise circular motions, then I like to go back and do the opposite, so go anti-clockwise, and that makes sure that I'm not missing anything. Now, you can leave it just like that, but for a, let's say, busier background, you can shift it over and fill in the blanks. So that's what I'm doing, but I'm swapping out the parsley for clover, and then just doing the exact same technique and I really love how that pattern came out. It's really repetitive to watch so I've cut a lot of the footage out because it doesn't make for the most interesting video. So with the magic of editing, here's that finished pattern background. You can leave it just like that but I'm stepping it up in a really simple and easy way. I'm adding a little dot of glue to the top of each tree with a quickie glue pen and I'll apply some of WoW's essential sparkles. I've matched up copper fire with my clover trees and gold dust for the parsley ones. But don't do as I did. <laughs> I started at the bottom adding my glue and to be honest I really don't know why on earth I did that. I honestly know so much better than that <laughs> and as I'm working up my panel my hand is going into that wet glue from the trees below and then I'm just repeatedly stamping that down onto my panel as I'm going. It's fine, I saved it but yeah next time I think I'll engage brain beforehand <laughs> to save myself some effort. Once I've got that glitter on, I'm giving it a good tap to remove as much unwanted glitter as possible. Then I'm just going to go in with a paintbrush to sweep away any that's stubbornly remaining. Now, I've taped together two of those circle dies from before. I've got the one that I used on my panel plus the next one up. And cutting that together from some gold mirror cardstock gives me a fabulous little frame which really elevates my panel and finishes that opening nicely. But I'm using supplies that I've already got in my stash, using them in a slightly different way. And it saves me spending more money on a different die set just to cut my frames. How I've stamped and coloured my little Santa dude from a heavy doodle set and I'm going to die cut him so he's ready to go. There aren't a whole lot of elements to make this card up to be honest. It's a really easy one but it will get you so many bonus points because your recipient never needs to know how easy it really was. Now my glitter has set on that background and I'm adding my frame in place and how much more professional and finished does that look? Love it. I'm adding strong double sided glue onto my halo, most of it on the back and that's going to secure it to my background panel. But I always like to add a little bit to the middle of my battery pack. This lets me get my halo into the right position and it's just going to hold it there whilst I work on building up the rest of the back. 
I'm using the foam tape sold at Pear Blossom Press, which is double thickness and it's the perfect height for use with any of their lighting options. That part is great, but I want to show you why I absolutely love this particular foam tape. It's repositionable for 30 minutes. And when they said that, they really, really meant it. Look how easy it is to pull that up. And it doesn't tear your cardstock. As someone who never gets it right the first time, I massively appreciate this. <laughs> I put that onto an 80 panel of green cardstock and that's our spotlight bit done. Now let's work on the springboard bit. These mini action wobbles are available in the shop and these things are super springy. I've peeled off the release on the solid side and I'm sticking that to the back of my little Santa. Then I'm popping him pride of place in the spotlight for all to see. For my sentiment I've got this heffy doodle die cut all stacked and looking gorgeous. The last thing we need to work on is letting our recipient know there's something special about this card. I don't want that to be too in your face though, so this teensy tiny stamp from our push set is perfect. And I'm living dangerously stamping it on free range with an acrylic block. But I've got to get my adrenaline somewhere, crafty people. That gives me a doubly interactive delight that's perfect for the holiday season. Thank you for spending this time with me today. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the things. Thank you for spending this time with me today. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the things. And I'll be back on the channel in the new year. So for now, I'll say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and the safest of New Year's. Have a lovely, happy, safe, and wonderful week. Stay crafty. Bye.